P2282 mixture too lean is one of the most common problems you're gonna run into. That's why if you have a diagnostic leak detector smoke machine at home that's affordable, this is something that you can diagnose yourself very easily. One problem with a lot of smoke machines is that you need a compressor. The Ansel S3000 smoke machine does not need a compressor. It has an internal compressor. It's a small little air pump and it's all inclusive with everything that you need to smoke test your car. This smoke machine really does deliver everything it says. Fast smoke generation, big smoke volume, easy to use, five minute working cycle. It's environmentally friendly because it just uses baby oil and it doesn't really have any bad smell. It also comes with all these great adapters. This is for putting right into the intake or any kind of hose to close it up. It does have one of these inflatable expansion pumps which inflates and closes off a component that you're going to test and then sends the smoke in and then easily purges. As an adapter for different size hoses, the smoke volume comes right out of this tube on the side which screws in. It's just a 12 volt power supply. Most modern vehicles don't react to spraying brake clean or carb clean right into the intake or spraying around an area to find a leak. You need good pressure and volume to find an unmetered air leak, especially if it is a small leak. So we're going to do a glove test of the Ansel system. We're going to see if we can fill up a glove with smoke, air, and volume. Now to fill this, it even has a tiny little funnel to put your baby oil in. That's your fill point, and then you have just a screw plug to seal this up. System works off at 12 volts, so I just have it hooked up to a battery. And you can just do air. If you're testing for a leak and you use this pintle, and if there's no leak, if I see I close it with my finger, you're going to see the pressure is going to go up and this is going to go all the way down to the bottom and that's going to indicate that there's no leaks. If I had a small leak, you would see the pintle moving and that would be the amount of leak that you have. When it's on red, it's ready to produce smoke. This is the smoke button right here. There's my smoke, does a great job, and let's see how well it can blow up a rubber glove. This is a nice rubber glove test. If it can continue to blow up this rubber glove nice and big, I can seal it myself here. It's a lot of smoke volume. No external compressor needed. That's what's great about this. You can dial in how much air less or more so I can reduce the amount of air or increase the amount of air volume I want. So this means you need good volume and pressure in order to smoke test an intake manifold because you always have loss through the valves. Right now it is still blowing up this glove. Can't believe how much pressure this little pump can put out. Now this would run for five minutes so that you have time to hunt down your actual leak in your vehicle. All right, here we go, ready? Wow, that's a lot of smoke. It literally filled up my entire garage with smoke from that one glove. Check that out, that's actually pretty awesome. I gotta have to clear out the garage before we do a smoke test of the engine. Remove the air box, that's usually the best place to smoke test the engine, right here at the inlet tube or fresh air pipe. Now the Ansel S3000 comes with all of these adapters. So this is the one that we used to use back in the day and it just pressed in place and seals. If you do have a lot of pressure, it can actually pop it back off. This is the new one that you can purchase separately, but it also comes with this kit. And this is my preferred method now, is it just goes into the intake and then you just expand it. And it gives, gives you a nice good pressure fit for when you're smoke testing. Now, I don't know if I have any air leaks in this engine. This is my Z3 with M54 that needs the cylinder head removed, but we're gonna find out so that I know before I go ahead and take this apart if I have any unmetered air leaks. Now, I can do this test also. When I'm done all of the work, I can do a smoke test to make sure that I don't have any issues. That's why it's nice to have a smoke tester at home. I'm gonna go ahead and set this up on power and ground right over here. So I have my jump terminal and I have a ground terminal. Here's my smoke machine ready to go. And I always like to see the smoke come out. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn it on. 
That's air. Smoke. There we go. I like to give it a second for the smoke to develop. It does have to heat the coil inside. And once I see the smoke, that's when it's time to go. There it is right there. I'm gonna go ahead and put that into the adapter and then clear out some of the smoke, residual smoke here. And now it's time to start hunting. So you would just take a flashlight and start looking for signs of smoke. Some common spots on an E46 are the intake boot cracks down the bottom and by the throttle. It also leaks right here by this diesel flap and then also by the suction air jet for the brake booster. While this thing puts out more pressure than my few thousand dollar smoke machine that I have at work, let me show you something that I just realized with the smoke machine. So I know I don't have any unmetered air leaks. That's the pump running so you don't need that external compressor. But a lot of times you could pull the dipstick and see some of the smoke come out. Okay, I saw a little wisp right there. Oh, yeah, there it is right there. I have a very, very small leak. You can see it right there. Let me get the lighting right. There's a, there's a very small leak from this suction jet. This is an internal check valve that goes to the brake booster. This is actually one of the common spots that leaks on an E46 with the M54 engine. And sometimes you can just replace these clamps. You can see there's, there's the smoke right there, just came out. So this puts out really, really good pressure. Actually, you can see that I can actually turn the hose a little bit. So I might be able to reclamp re -clamp this and correct this leak. But what I was saying, that really caught me off guard on this is when I pulled the dipstick off, and there's a lot of pressure here, gotta be careful, it's gonna, ready, there we go. Oh, so the oil came out. There's so much pressure in this engine that it's pushing the oil out through the dipstick. You ready for this? It blows the cap right off, there's that much pressure. So you really know that you have a leak or not because that's how much pressure this Ancel smoke machine push, pushes out and how much smoke. It's pushed its way through the intake manifold, through the valves, and into the engine compartment. So if I had a leak coming from my valve cover, I would know it. I'm gonna shut this off. Fantastic, I can't believe how well this thing worked. So I have another smoke machine that I have that I'm gonna be chucking because it does not put out the volume and smoke that this Ancel diagnostic leak detector does. This one is absolutely amazing for the home mechanic. This would pay for itself with a couple hours of, of diagnostic time that you would pay at another shop and then you'd own it and you'd always have it and you can have that Wonderful feeling that you fixed your own car and diagnosed your own vehicle. So a smoke machine is great to find unmetered air leaks but you can also use it to smoke test any vacuum system that you have. So this is the vacuum supply that goes to my non-return valve for my secondary air system. So I could actually put this right into this vacuum line right here and I can smoke test this if I had a fault to see if I had a leak in this vacuum line. You know what's great with the smoke machine too, you can actually smoke test your exhaust if you think you have an, a leak in the exhaust, you just have to plug up your exhaust port, put your lead in, and then go ahead and with the volume that this puts out, this should smoke test this exhaust no problem. I can't tell you how impressed I am with this unit. This is the best one I've seen that is the most affordable. Antel's provided me with a promo code to give you a discount, and I believe they might have a buy one, get one free, so buy one for you, get one for free for a Christmas gift. If you're interested in engine repairs and just like to check out what's going on, please join me on my Ask the Car Experts YouTube channel. I'm gonna be pulling the cylinder head off of this BMW M54 engine. Man, my garage is still full of smoke. Most modern vehicles, when you're spraying carb clean, Oh my goodness. Bottle failure. Oh, ah. Jeez. <laughs> wow. I am absolutely amazed at how well this Ancel smoke tester works. Thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please remember to like and subscribe.